Dear Ukrainian friends, Russia's war against your country has entered its third week. We are punishing the aggressor. Its economy is already feeling the heat of our sanctions, and there is more to come. We are supporting Ukraine militarily. EU member states and allies are delivering weapons. Here again, more is to come. And we are supporting Ukrainian people to live through this terror. First, with humanitarian support. All EU member states have contributed to the EU civil protection mechanism. Millions of vehicles, medical kits, tents, blankets, sleeping bags are already reaching Ukraine. Second, protecting those escaping Putin's terror. The EU for the first time activated its temporary protection directive. It helps Ukrainians coming to the EU by offering welfare and medical treatment, access to job markets and education. Third, the first tranche of our recent macro-financial assistance has already reached Ukraine. 300 million euro. There is more to come. I am especially proud of how EU projects in Ukraine have reoriented their work. The EU anti-corruption initiative has bought hundreds of helmets and protective vests for the staff of anti-corruption institutions. The EU's Prava Justice Programme supports the Ukrainian Prosecution Service in investigating war crimes and crimes against humanity in international and national courts. We are working with our civil society partners who are active on all fronts, from supporting the territorial defence to helping with evacuations. And the most important political question. In the summit in Versailles, 11th of March, EU's heads of state and government discussed Ukraine's membership application and gave a clear political signal. Ukraine belongs to the European family. The work on Ukrainians' membership in the EU has started. Kryhas Kresl, Proces Pishov. Slava Ukraini.